All right, uh, in this part, I'm going to be getting into press prepped personnel and uh, a few additional things. Again, I'm reading from my notes, so excuse any mishaps or tongue-tied moments or any verb verbal slips of that nature. Uh, it's been shy of two weeks since this began. I've been alone in the residence. Uh, during this time, I've lost an extreme amount of weight, and that has not been due to not eating, uh, but it's been much more than the average pound or two a week. Um, I've been on the heavier side due to past medication. Uh, since this situation, again, I've lost weight, uh, and I believe I experienced some weight issues due to T-blockers being administrated into my food uh, because I experienced hair loss, I experienced hair, slow growth of the hair, and also weird fat accumulation in the chest region. Uh, however, since I've been alone uh, with this whole whole police situation, um, all those things have gone away. So this is just kind of a, a warning about prep personnel. Uh, moving on to prepped personal behavior, uh, basically they're, ha they're acting like this, using coded speech and behavior, because law enforcement is viewing behavior through you via optogenics as a means of communication. And again, if you try to latch onto these signals and behaviors, uh, whether your own or otherwise, they'll begin to scramble. Uh, that will consist of random moments. They'll use mundane behaviors and repetitive movements, simply so you, you cannot follow if it's what you're looking at. For this next part, uh, I strongly suggest that you read the articles listed in the description. Law enforcement will communicate using your thoughts as well. They will try and direct your thoughts. They will use thought intrusion via optogenics. Again, you will feel a pressure on your right temple when this occurs. Uh, even They'll even create images underneath the eyelids when you're trying to sleep and you have your eyes closed. This is a sleep dep deprivation tactic. Um, all these things are extremely manipulative. They're trying to sow doubt. They're trying to make you doubt yourself. They're trying to make you doubt reality. Additionally, V2K works in conjunction with what you are thinking. Um, it can be used to change real-world audible sources such as music, uh, but again, this is all used as a communication method. Next point here, uh, law enforcement will plant specious stories on websites. They will be catered toward your vernacular and syntax and will be based on your past personal history. Then an odd one here, um, if you stare at something and it begins to wiggle, so if you stare at like a poster, for example, and it's not moving, and then a corner starts to wiggle, uh, that's being done via optogenics. It's an overlay, an optical illusion, uh, and if you stare at it long enough, it'll revert back to its normal state um, over time. And then these are just my personal thoughts, but I think it goes like this in relation to gang stalking overall and law enforcement. I believe there's three teams. A physical gang stalking team, uh, a, v a team that deals with V2K and uses woodblocks as a warning notification system, again tied into V2K, and then um, optogenic control, which includes involuntary movements, thought manipulation, which you can feel uh, again on your right temple, it's a pressure on your right temple that's there and then dissipates when that manip manipulation is gone, and also thought intrusion via thoughts, obviously, and uh, mental images.